You're listening to Newsday on the BBC World Service. And can the international community help Somalia to progress and rebuild government institutions and the rule of law? The conference here in London today with delegates from 50 countries and organizations is focusing on the most burning issues like security, piracy and the economy. Well, Britain has already pledged around $120 million worth of aid, which it hopes will build key government services in the country, which has been lawless for 22 years. The Somali Prime Minister, Abdi Farah Shirdan, spoke to the BBC's Andrew Harding about what the Somali government hopes to achieve at today's conference. We went to the international community to understand our unique situation and to come and support it the way we like it. And how much money are you talking about? Uh, I may not give you now exact figure because we need a lot. We have um, to do a uh, um, we have to revise our security system and justice and policing. We have also needs to improve on reconciliation, public finance management. Management. We have a long list. Imagine that Somalia has been um, off the track for the last 22 years. We are rebuilding Somalia. Therefore, the cost that we may ask may not be something small. And why should the international community believe in this government? There have been others, there have been many conferences, a lot of money has been given to Somalia, but there is a big problem with corruption here. I believe that they have read our intentions, they have seen what we are doing there on the ground. We have made some progress within a short time of less than six months. That is what's giving the international community the motives to help us. So you mean this is the first government that is not corrupt? Yeah. Or not so corrupt? No, we are not corrupt. We have no traces of corruption. And I hope that we will keep that line. So foreign money will be well used here? Will be safer than since the transition, I'm sure. We have a momentum, and I hope that we will build on that momentum. We are not to give a room for mistrust and we should have to be transparent in all our posts. There is concern that your government talks well, that it brings in foreign money, but that it is not changing ordinary people's lives fast enough. Are you worried that may be true? Mogadishu is safer than since last 22 years. It's safer now. Our business is getting more improved. But we have a number of challenges to worry about. Because Shabab is acting as a wild cat. They don't want to live, they respect nothing, they are they just they have come to die and they respect no laws. Shabab is among the challenges that we have to do. But in the future I hope that they will be defeated totally. By your army and security forces with, or by, by foreign security armies? forces and also with the help of international and our people. Together, we have a plan to make a one united front. Therefore, through these efforts, I like the effort. I believe that Shabab will be defeated. That is the Somali Prime Minister Abdi Farah Shirdan speaking to the BBC's Andrew Harding. Now, Andrew will be.